Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to install port uh, memos on Portainer. So I'm going to be using Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. I'll be going over step by step and actually showing you each and every step so you can actually learn. So a little bit about this series and going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this is what we will be installing today. It's a privacy first, lightweight note taking service, easily capture and share your great thoughts. So um, this is what it looks like. And here's some key, a key points. It's open source and free forever. Self hosting with Docker in just seconds. That's what we will be using with Docker Compose. And then pure text with added markdown support. A customize and share your notes effortlessly and a RESTful API to hook into it and use third-party uh, services. So, we will be deploying with Docker Compose on Portainer. So today we'll start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. So, I'm going to go to um, how to install memos on Portainer right here. I'm going to go into the Docker Compose. And then I'm explaining it. So version three of Docker Compose uh, file is being used, the syntax. And, and then uh, I'm gonna start a service. So the service underneath the services called memos. And then I'm gonna set an image. So it's coming off Docker Hub because there's nothing b before this. And um, so I'm getting the latest tag. And then the container name is gonna be called memos. I'm gonna set a volume. So I'm going to set it at data, app data, and then memos on the host side. And in the container side, this is synced up with each other. Uh, you cannot change the path on the container side, but you can on the host side right here. So, um, so var opt memos in the container. And then I'm going to set some ports. So uh, 5230 is on the host side. This can be changed if the port collides with another port. And then in the container side is 5230. So now I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Portainer and get this installed. So we're going to go, go to the home of Portainer and then local and then stacks and then add a stack up here, the button. And then now I'm going to put in a stack name. So I'm going to do memos stack. You can put anything you want here. So I'm going to scroll down to web editor right here. So I'm going to paste the Docker Compose in here. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to say deploy the stack. Now it's deployed. So we can get to looking at the options. Now we're going to go over the stacks. So you go into mem memo stack and then you go to e editor and then you can change the Docker compose right here and then update the stack. You can also repull image and redeploy. So that means it'll repull the Docker uh, a image off of the repository and uh, then you, you'll have a fresh new image that's not in the cache. That's not cached. So, and then it'll redeploy the containers. So you can turn that on and off. So um, you can also go in the containers right here. You can see that it's been running for 16 minutes. Um, you can you can um, see the port configuration. So 5230 to 5230. So container port and host port. And then you see entry point, the environment variables, the, the labels. You can uh, set a, re a restart policy. So you can say unless stopped. And then update. You can see the volume, so data, app data, and memos is on the host volume. And in the in the container, it's var opt memos. It also created a memo stack, uh, a network down here. So now you got uh, you can stop, kill, restart, pause, or remove, recreate, or duplicate. You can also um, stop this stack and then delete the stack and then create template from the stack 
So that's the options for Portainer stacks. So now we're going to go to the UI and see if it works. So we're, we're going to put the Portainer's IP address in here. Then we're going to put the port on 5230. So I'm going to go to it. And here you go. You have no data. So you're going to sign in right here. You're going to be a site host when you register. So I'm going to just register an account real quick. And then sign up. Okay, now we're in here, so you can put your thoughts in, so testing, and then cool, and then you can put ta tags in, so if you put a tag in over here, you can see, uh, see the tag now, so you can put it in here, and then save. You can also put resources in for local file and external link. You can put uh, a check mark in. You can put code snippets in. So you can put it to private, visible to members, public to everyone. You can also search the memos, so testing. So it's searching the all the testing memos, filtering by it. You can uh, see when you do memos, so three memos today. And then now you can go to a daily review and see a calendar more like. And then you see the resources when you post them. You can explore. You can see the archived. So if you go over here, you can see that you can pin a post. You can edit one. You can mark one. So, so there you go. And then it's marked. So um, you can also go and... And then you can a uh, uh, archive, delete, and then you can also go and um, see the arc, see the when I do an archive. So I'm gonna ar archive one real quick, and then here you go. You can restore it, delete it. You can also see settings, so you can change your uh, username, nickname, and email. Uh, change your password, your, your current one. You can create an access token, and then here's the token already created. And then uh, preferences, you can change the language, I, I change the theme, the memo visibility, the time offset, enable do double click to edit, and you can put your Telegram user ID in. You can create more members. You can see a, si a system info like server name, database file size, Allow a uh, user sign up, disable password login, disable public memos, disable with uh, a display with updated time, maximum upload size, auto backup interval, Telegram bot token, additional styles with custom style sheets like CSS, and then additional uh, script for JavaScript that you can put in. You can um, change the, the database name right here. You can change it to a database. And then you can also go and put your S3 bucket in, so you you actually store the files on S3 instead of local. You can uh, set up single sign-on for different uh, vendors, GitLab, Google, Custom, and GitHub. Um, so that's a little bit about memos. So I just went over step-by-step -step on how to get memos running on Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.